In 2017, astronomers stumbled upon a celestial anomaly that left the world in awe, Oumuamua. This interstellar wanderer defied all expectations, baffling experts with its mysterious form and trajectory. Was it a comet? A space rock? Or perhaps something beyond our wildest imaginations? Now, as whispers of Oumuamua's return echo through the halls of NASA, the questions only grow more urgent. What does its reappearance mean for humanity? Is it a harbinger of doom or a messenger of cosmic significance? Join us as we unravel the secrets of Oumuamua's journey back to Earth and delve into the profound implications it holds for our understanding of the universe. Get ready to expand your cosmic horizons and embark on an exhilarating exploration of space science like never before. Don't miss out on the adventure. Hit that subscribe button and join us as we uncover the mysteries of the cosmos one discovery at a time. Astronomers first spotted a strange visitor from beyond our solar system in 2017. This visitor, known as 1I-2017 U1 Oumuamua, caused quite a stir among scientists. Its detection hinted at a fascinating possibility, that objects from other stars sometimes journey through our neighborhood. Some of these travelers might even crash into Earth as meteorites. This raises a big question. Could these alien visitors have brought life with them? Panspermia, a wild idea in science, suggests that life may hitchhike across space on asteroids or comets. A recent study led by junior David Cow explored this idea. They found that these interstellar travelers could seed countless planets with the potential for life. It's like a cosmic delivery service bringing life to worlds throughout the galaxy. Imagine tiny space travelers journeying through the cosmos, tough enough to survive even the harshest conditions. These extraterrestrial hitchhikers could be microscopic organisms, evolved to withstand the extreme challenges of outer space. They hitch rides on asteroids, cruising through the vast expanse of the universe until they crash onto planets that might just be suitable for life. This idea, known as panspermia, stands apart from other theories about how life began on Earth. One popular theory, called the RNA world hypothesis, suggests that RNA came before DNA and proteins, kick-starting life on our planet. But according to Core, panspermia isn't a simple puzzle to solve. It's like trying to fit together pieces of a cosmic jigsaw puzzle with countless unknowns and variables. Take, for instance, the biological side of things. Can these space-hardy organisms survive the intense radiation of a supernova? And what about the physical aspects of panspermia? How many objects crashed into Earth before we find any trace of life? These questions add layers to the mystery of our cosmic origins. Furthermore, there are still so many mysteries waiting to be unraveled about these factors, like how many of these super-tough organisms would actually make it to Earth if they hitched a ride on a space rock? And what are the odds that they could kickstart life as we know it? Our grasp of panspermia's possibility keeps shifting, thanks to a whole bunch of reasons. Think about it. The rate at which stars form changes, and we're discovering more and more wandering planets out there. It's like trying to catch a shooting star, tough to pin down. The discovery of Oumuamua between 2000 and 2017 changed everything in the world of astronomy. Suddenly, we realized that interstellar visitors weren't just a rare occurrence. They're like cosmic tourists passing through our cosmic neighborhood all the time. Take two, I slash Borisov, for instance, another interstellar traveler that swung by just two years after Oumuamua. But this time, we weren't scratching our heads in confusion. Nope, it showed off its comet-like tail, confirming its identity. And guess what? Some of these visitors even crash onto our planet, leaving their mark on Earth's surface. Core believes that the discovery of these space wanderers could shake up our understanding of life's beginnings on Earth. 
Imagine if we could predict how many of these interstellar objects zoomed past us using Oumuamua's data. It's like putting together pieces of a cosmic puzzle to unlock secrets about our planet's past. To figure out if panspermia is possible, we need to know how many times Earth got bumped by stuff from outer space in 800 million years. More crashes mean maybe more chances for life to hitch a ride. So let's crunch the numbers. The weird stuff about Oumuamua helps us make some cool maths models. Picture this, tiny space bugs needing a big rock umbrella to protect them from space trouble, like supernovae and big smashes. That's what Core and friends looked into, along with other fancy math stuff. Oh, and cosmic rays zap all space stuff, except the biggest ones, before they leave our cosmic neighborhood. Current research suggests that certain factors affect how likely it is for panspermia to happen and how many space objects might smack into Earth without getting sterilized. So we did some fancy maths to figure out the smallest size an object needs to be. Imagine packing spheres together to make a rough guess of how far they'd fly from a big exploding star using a star cluster called Orion A as our guide. We also looked at how much radiation these flying objects soak up, depending on what they're made of, like icy water. Then, using both physics and biology, our team took a crack at estimating how many of these flying bits hit Earth before life showed up. The oldest fossils we've found in Western Australia go way back to the Archean era, about 3.5 billion years ago. That's when life as we know it likely started to kick off. Scientists have crunched the numbers and think there's a tiny chance that space-traveling life seeds kickstart a life here on Earth, like a cosmic fertilizer. Even though this chance seems super slim, we've only looked at the first 8 billion years of Earth's history. But hey, planets can host life for a really long time, like 5 to 10 billion years. So we're thinking there could be way more habitable planets out there in our galaxy. Using this info, scientists have estimated that there might be around 100,000 habitable planets in our galaxy where life could thrive. But hold on, these estimates are based on the best case scenarios for planet livability. We're talking about planets like Earth, with cozy atmospheres, protective magnetic fields, and oceans of liquid water. And hey, any space stuff carrying life that makes it to Earth could drop off tiny microbes here too. Based on what Core said, their results don't prove panspermia or put an end to the debate about where life came from on Earth. However, they do put constraints on the idea that objects like Oumuamua could have brought life here. Regardless, astrobiology is becoming a very diverse field, and these results will certainly have far-reaching implications for it. Astronomers are eager to get a better look at future guests because of Oumuamua's mysterious nature and the knowledge interstellar objects could offer about faraway star systems. And there you have it, fellow space enthusiasts. From Oumuamua to future interstellar visitors, the universe never ceases to amaze us. But our cosmic journey doesn't end here. There's so much more to explore, from the mysteries of distant galaxies to the secrets hidden within our own solar system. So stay tuned for more thrilling adventures in space science. Don't miss out on the latest discoveries, mind-blowing theories, and exciting missions. Hit that subscribe button and join our cosmic community to keep up with all the wonders of the universe.